So what are we watching? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. It's a cartoon show, babe. I don't think you'll get it. You and your kid shows. I don't judge your shows, babe. Whatever. And that's how you work the patient's number. 077. I like that idea. But. But. You are the problem. Typical. Yes now please get out of my face. What if I don't? Next time just don't give me a presentation without you in. Tell someone to do your work for you. I ain't doing that, fool. So. How did it go? It went well. But of course I would be the problem of the presentation. He sure is hard on us. You think? Do you think he'll be hard on me? Honestly. I don't know, he sure is one stubborn man. He is just like my dad. Are you stubborn dad? Yes I am. Yeah, your dad sure is one heck of a man. Yep. But I'm used to stubbornness. What are your tricks? Where is David? I don't know. Stop just standing there. Start your presentation. All right, all right. So if we follow my plans, you can have all the loyalty you can imagine. But you have to allow the customers to be themselves. Whatever they want is what they'll get. Why is David not here yet? Where can he be? Isn't that the man who stole something of yours? That is. He stole my heart. But why would he do that? Because he is a beauty. Are they talking about me? You really think he is that cute? Wait, I've seen him before. I just don't know where I saw him from. I don't see it. But I do see his beauty. You. Weren't you just fired? I thought you were fired. Why are you still here? Because that outcast of a guy said I wasn't really fired. Can I leave? Outcast of a guy? Wait. David? Yes. That nerd said I wasn't really fired. And you thought that if you came back, I wouldn't be suspicious of you still being here after I fired you? I actually never thought of that. Leave. Get out! You are fired. Okay, okay. I'm going. Who does David think he is? Setting me up like this. David, aren't you supposed to be at work? Oh shoot. I forgot about work. Hey Fernando. Hey kid. Wait. Shouldn't you be at work? No. We had to leave early. Old Elvis here got a breakdown in the middle of the office. Elvis? Yeah, you know. Boss man. Oh. It's about me, isn't it? I don't know. But if it is, be careful, kid. I will. You got some nerve showing up here right now. What's happened? Well, he just told me not to be late again or else I'll be fired. If you are late again, you'll be fired. Okay, sir. I got it. Wait. So you guys are all good? Yes, we are. And all of that anger was for nothing? Yep. Yeah. Man. Tell me your secret. I don't really have one. Yeah, we were good, but... But what? But I had thoughts about how he treated me, so... I went back to the room and told him that I couldn't work as his assistant. So I quit. What? Okay look. I don't want any trouble but I have second thoughts and I don't think I can work with you. You okay? I understand. 
I was hard on you and I don't mind the fact that you aren't my assistant anymore. I honestly like you as my worker. But I respect you. And you shouldn't let your talent go to waste. Baking, great car wash, and most importantly, dumping my girlfriends for me. Good luck out there. Thanks. Do you quit? Yeah. They are hiring. In case you want, join them. I'll make sure to pick up that offer. Good luck, kid. Thanks. Hey, excuse me. Do you know where I'm at? You are at Mialgic, Nebraska. Really? Thanks. No problem. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Yes, um. What do you serve here? We serve muffins, coffee, iced coffee, cake, cookies and many more. Just the coffee is fine. Thank you. No problem. Coming right up. It's weird. I don't recognize this place. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean Joseph is here? I'm gonna go check tomorrow. So your coffee is ready. On my way. Hey I heard you are now hiring. Who is asking? Me, sir. I feel like Joseph works behind me. I'll go check. Don't come back to this store. I didn't mean to whack you in the head. I thought you were someone who dyed their hair purple to throw me off track. Okay, so Joseph doesn't work here? Since you are now my new assistant, I want you to fire Samir. Are you sure that's what you want me to do? I am your assistant. Shouldn't I do something like pick up your groceries? Or pick up your money or something? Money? What? No. Instead? Why not fire two people? I'm tired of seeing the same faces every day for eight hours. Fire Danny and Samir. Are you sure? Am I the manager? Yes. Then go on. Go! I'm going. Why did I hire that imbecile? It's one thing I have to deal with Samir and Danny. Now I have to deal with this old freak. I do miss David. He was like a son to me. I hope he is doing okay. Hey Danny. Hey. What's wrong? Well as manager's assistant. It's my job to follow orders so... Come on. You can tell me. I have to fire you. Ha 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 ha. What? I'm serious. That's so funny. Make sure to tell that joke to Samir. Well he did mention to fire Samir too. Go on. Hey Samir. Hey Fernando. Our manager told me to tell you this. You are fired. Ha 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 ha. I'm serious. He really wants me to fire you. Ha ha. Let me go ask him myself. What? What do you mean I am fired? You are a failure and a loser. And useless to this company. First of all. You are acting manager. Second of all. I am important in this job and if you don't like it, then cry about it. And? What happened in there? Oh yeah. I'm definitely fired. Man. Good luck. He also wants you to leave. What? I'll give him a piece of my mind. It won't work. Trust me. I tried it. But I know my ways.
Did you need something before you leave? No, you know why? Because I am not leaving. I worked hard to be here, and you're not even the real manager. You're just an acting manager. What did you say? Acting manager. And if I don't get my job back, I will threaten to sue. And the lawyers don't care if you are acting manager. They just want the head of the place to be active. Whether it's acting or the real manager. You also don't want me to expose your secret. But I can if I have to. What secret? You know. About abandoning Ross in the forest. You don't have proof that I did. Well. If you ever do meet Ross face to face again. Make sure I am not there to see it. And also. He is living proof that you abandoned him. Fine. You two can keep your jobs. Just don't let any of this stuff be exposed to the public. Cause if I find out you are the whistleblower of any private situations in this place, I will fire you and press charges on you. Deal. Guess what? You got our jobs back? Yes I did. Wow how did you do it? I have my ways. Like I said before. Well I never should have doubted you. You saved me some time from packing all my stuff for nothing. Yep. Let's go buy some coffee. My treat. No. It's my treat. It's the least I can do since you kept us from being fired. Okay. Man with a day. I should go to sleep right now. It's another big day tomorrow. I'm positive this is where Joseph works at. May I help you? I think you can. What the?